In this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that allows us to take the values that are in one column from our data set and split them out into two separate fields or columns based on a delimiter in that one column. So you can see here we have a data set of employee records and the second column here is first name space last name. What we want to do is in our query results display the first name in one column and the last name in a second column. So we're going to begin with the query statement and the key to doing this is in this first argument here. So what we need to do is nest all of our range references inside curly brackets because curly brackets allow you to rearrange arrays in whatever order you want to display them. Now we still want to get all the columns, it's just we want to break this second column out into two separate columns. So I'm going to begin with our reference to the first column which is column A and we'll just do A1 through A to make it infinite. And within the curly brackets if we want to display these columns side by side what we need to do is separate each of our column array references by a comma. So now what we want to do is use the split function to split out column B based on the delimiter of a space. But before we can use the split function we need to nest that within the array formula because the split function is not an array output but the query is an array output. So we have to convert the output results of the split function to an array output because the query is. Otherwise we'll get an error message. So we're going to use the split. That is going to be our first argument is the text we want to split out, which that is going to be column B. And then our second argument is going to be the delimiter, which is going to be a space. So that's just a space between a set of double quotes. And that is everything we need. So then we can add another comma and join this to column C through D. So we have C1 through D. And that is everything we need for our first argument. So then we have our select statement. We want to select all the columns here. So since we have infinite ranges, it's a good idea to add a where condition just to say where one of our columns is not equal to null because we don't want to bring in blank rows. So we'll say column one is not null. Now, since we created our own sort of virtual array in this first argument, we need to refer to the column number. We can no longer refer to the column letter because really they don't exist in the way that they're displayed over here now since we built this first argument. So then the final argument is the number of headers we have, which is one. So you can see this doesn't exactly produce what we want and the reason is because of our header value here it has multiple delimiters so to get around that what we need to do is the easiest approach really is to just change your header so that it has the same number of delimiters so we can say first last and that will fix it that's probably the easiest approach so now we could do this again, but with a different delimiter, which there's really not much difference other than the delimiter would be a comma. So if we did the query again on this data set that has last name comma first, we can build our arrays just like we did before. B1 
through b and then this time our delimiter is a comma space and then we have the end of our range column c and d and then our select statement again And again, need to adjust our headers. So we'll have just last comma space first. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.